now. Let's say you're talking with friends and you want to invite them to your group, or you want to be invited by someone from the group. Simply get the person who you want to lead the squad to click the plus at the bottom of the screen and pick a name. Now, all my friends currently offline, so I can't show you that, but simply just click the plus whoever's online that you want to invite. Fortunately, if you're not in a squad or searching for a game, you can't change your auxiliary seats. Your auxiliary seats are the thing that lets you swap from, say, infantry to tanker, pilot, recon, paratrooper, assuming you have those points for the auxiliary seats as well as the soldiers themselves. Now you see here, yeah, this is a fresh account for me, relatively, to play 30 odd hours, but I still only have infantry for each faction. Like I said, starting new. Um, let's say I go to search for a game, and because I'm Australian, games are rare, especially in counter and war games, so I'll search for those so I have more time to talk about this. Now, see these two? They just popped up. These are the auxiliary seats. I'll just deselect all these. So this is what you'll see if you are level 6 or higher. You need to be level 6 in order to be able to have auxiliary seats and be a squad leader. If you are the leader of a squad and below level 6, you'll be a squad leader cadet and you will not have auxiliary seats or be able to give orders. Basically a pointless leader. Um, now you see here I have 8 of 12 points. That lets me have a combination of auxiliary seats, for example, I can have a tanker, and then I can have a recon, very common auxiliary seats to have, especially in war situations. Tanks and recons are very common in war compared to the others, others such as paratrooper or pilot. Now, if you want to see your progression on auxiliary seat points or squad upgrade points, you can just click any of these two ribbons. This is being a squad leader, so leading a squad giving orders and having your squad mates follow orders, such as capturing objectives. And this is a squad member, which is following orders. Now, you can buy a ribbon booster, which once activated will last 4 hours and will give you 75% bonus towards the selected ribbon. Or you could spend gold or credits and buy your way to the next point. If you're starting out as a tanker or pilot, I highly recommend spending, I think it's about 1300 credits, just to get that infantry seat. That'll save you in the long run. But if you're stuck, you probably won't have that anyway. So now I'm searching for a game proper search, so I've got everything enabled. Oh look, found a game. Here we have paratrooper, armor, which is mediums and tank destroyers, as well as recons with uh, IFVs, infantry fighting vehicles. And then we have all these vehicles in infantry. Now I am not the squad leader because I joined mid-game, so a sub-level 6 level 2 in fact is the squad leader cadet so that means we won't have any auxiliary seats and we won't have any orders unfortunately it's, it's a really big downside really annoying but that's how it is sadly now you'll see here we don't own any O1 anymore so we can only spawn at E-line however as a squad leader I have the ability to spawn us, or swap us to D-Line so we can spawn at D1. If we were to recap O1, we could spawn on any of these objectives, including D1. As in which anyway, as tankers, you can only spawn as attackers at your main base, even if you capture O1. Okay, so, the auxiliary system. This map has paratroopers and recons. And I have a paratrooper seat, and I have a recon seat. Now, unfortunately, I don't have either of those soldiers at the moment. 
on this account, but if I did have them, I could swap to them mid-game because of my exit receipts. To swap to them, I would simply click my player soldier at the bottom, and then pick them from the list here. Also, as the squad leader, I can swap on an attacking team what line our team spawns on. So currently, we're spawning on the E line, but I could spawn us to the D line by clicking this little shield here. It has a one minute cooldown. Now, because we have O1 and the two lines are connected, we can spawn anywhere along here. Now, if I was to spawn in, being the squad leader, I can give orders by holding Q by default. The orders give you free XP, pretty much, if your team or your squad follows the orders and the objective is captured, or even defended. You can also use this Q feature to mark certain points on the map for your squad mates to see. Say so there's an enemy. <laughs> there's an enemy over there, so I can point out the squad leader's specific points. Right, well I died to that guy. No, because my squad mate is on the next objective. Okay, never mind, he just died. I'll put it back to defend. Because then I will get XP and progression towards my squad leader for ribbons each time they get a kill and just slow progression regardless of progress. Even if you're, for example, a pilot squad, a fighter squad, you still want to give objectives because even if nothing happens, if, if no one follows the orders, no one gets killed, over time you still progress. And Auxiliary seats are important things to have. It's worth a small effort of, for example, holding Q and clicking wherever you want. See? I just put a marker near that guy, and because he got a kill near my marker, I just got a point for that, an XP, and that progresses towards my squad leader. Ribbon. 